What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Advisor here, and I'm back with the truth. I'm gonna get my holy water at the half back. So I'm gonna be doing like a little mini reading, but I want to talk about something because somebody's like I, I feel it. You somebody's experiencing like a, a spiritual crisis, or you are going through the dark night of the soul, or somebody wants to know a little bit more about the dark night of the soul, you know. And so you know I can relate because I've been through it. So I'm gonna give you like an example of like what happened to me versus like what you need to know because everybody's different, okay? And I pulled a few cards, so. Most, and guess what the first card that came out the second card that came out was um dark night of the soul so um the first card was left you out in the cold so let's see okay let's see i'm trying to get it down as much as i can y'all that's about all i can do okay so we got um community right here on the front of the um the deck left you out in the cold um preacher so i don't know for some of y'all i don't know who this preacher could be it could be anybody but for me i know exactly who this is okay so dark night of the soul here then we got deal with the devil okay yeah okay on top of the day we got community okay so somebody experienced a dark night of the soul um when i went through my dark night of the soul i had no idea what the hell it was yeah i believe it or not you know and it can happen anywhere i was in the damn bathroom when it, when it happened to me i was in somebody's bathroom do you understand me i was in the bathroom I just didn't know what the hell. I kind of went look crazy. Like, yeah, I can't even explain it. Like, I'm, I was like um, feeling hopeless. You know, I was going through a spiritual crisis, and most of y'all are going through a spiritual crisis. It don't matter how old you are; it's better you find out now than later. It don't matter when you learn, just as long as you learn, just as long as you know about it. And like when you're going through the dark night of soul, it's best to like kind of educate yourself on on it. You know how people have certain disease and they want to look it up to see, you know, educate themselves on that disease. This is just like they educate yourself on the dark night of the soul so you can know more about it. And at that point, all you can do is just surrender and trust the process. If you don't surrender and trust the process, it's gonna be hard on you. Okay. Okay? It's gonna be real hot on you. Um, you can meditate. Um, you're gonna be feeling confused. You're gonna be feeling lost, helpless, hopeless. I was feeling all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you just gotta trust the process. Uh, as soon as I trust the process, everything just went back freely and is as it should. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can go through a dark night of soul by like you can have a um, you know, a breakup. You know, your marriage, a divorce. Um, and it's extremely painful. And I'm not gonna lie about that. It could be a death. Um, it could be like a life or death situation. That's this more me. I felt like it was like a life or death situation. Either you on this side or you on this side. Like God came for my ass and He set my ass down somewhere. And I'm telling you, this it, it's, it's it's real. It's like um, things you'll go to. You'll have intense dreams. Uh, your dreams be intense. Um, you don't be interested in the things you once was interested in. You know what I'm saying? It's just like everything changed for me. Even the people I hang around, like I have no desire, no motivation to hang around or be around those people, even family members. You know what I'm saying? Like I, as soon as I realized that I didn't need these people because I really didn't need these people and I don't need them now. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then when I look back on it, I'd be like, how in the hell did I used to hang around these certain people? Like three years um, I ain't been around them, what, three, four years? And in them three, four years, I got two businesses. I'm doing my own thing. I don't want for nothing. I know how to save my money. I got everything I need except for a car. And the reason why I had no car, because, you know, Spirit told me don't get one yet. But now he said I can get one, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm saving my money up so that I'm able to get me a car. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard out here. It's real hard out here, especially with no transportation. So, you know, that's what I'm pretty much working on now. But y'all, I'm telling you, just um, you know, even gang stalking, even gang stalking, that'll that'll um send you into um a spiritual crisis. You know what I'm saying? This these are spiritual crises you going through. You need God. Can't nobody help you but God in this situation. When you gonna realize God can do it? God is real. You can't. I'm telling you, God is real. You can't see him, but trust me, he's real. He done did so many things for me. He done moved mountains for me. He done done things for me that the man can't do. Man can do. He never left my side. When 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 my father left my side. Um, when people I thought they loved me, they supposed to have my back, left my side. Everybody said I was crazy. They don't mess with her. She a witch. She this and she that. Yeah, God was right there. <laughs> God approved. You see what I'm saying? They don't approve of me uh, being spiritual or, you know, doing this little terror. But guess what? God approved. So, you know. Yeah, be, uh, uh, um, you know, you'll get through it, y'all. I promise you, you'll get through it. If I can get through it, you can get through it. Um, just trust the process. 
So yeah, like when somebody threatened your life, gang stalking, all those will send you into a spiritual crisis and then you will go through a dark night of the soul. So that's pretty much what dark night of the soul is, okay? I'm sure it's many, many, many definitions of it, but those are what I'm giving you from my point of view or my experience, okay? You could be anywhere where you have this. Like I said, I was in the damn um, bathroom. Then right after I went through that, you know, growing up, I've always been very intuitive. Very intuitive. I can I always, I always knew things. I always feel things. I always have felt people' energy. I can tell when something's awful, when something's not right, right. So when I went through that dark night of soul, even before it, I think I started getting my messages like gifts, and I can hear spirit talking to me, you know, a little bit. Not so much as now, cause now I can hear it a little more. But back then, you know, when I was waking up, when I was with that person who tried to sacrifice me, you know, I, I don't mean to keep talking about things like that, y'all, cause I don't be trying to bring up my past, but I just be trying to make an example so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So that person that came to you is really not your person. They were sent to you pretty much to wake you up. They didn't want you to wake up. So now it's have to attend some out of your family, like your parents, right? They sent this person to you, right? They sent this person to you to um, stray you or knock you off your path or to turn you dark. But it didn't happen. So that's why you're being followed. That's why you're being gang stalked. That's why, you know, a lot of y'all getting y'all dreams, people messing with your dreams. I've been through all that, you know. Um, I learned to cloak myself. I'm learning more and more. And then, like, y'all come to me and ask me, what spells you know? I would never, I'm a high priestess. I would never tell you all the, all the spells I know, you know what I'm saying? I would never tell you what I know. I listen to you, and you can tell me, and you can give me some insight, but I never tell you everything I know. I just don't, I just don't do that. I let you think I don't know nothing, but trust me, I know more than what the, what the every person know, okay? Um, yeah, and a lot of these people, like a lot of your family left you out in the cold. Right? They left you in the cold, especially during this dark night of the soul. And, and going through dark night of the soul, it's best to be around people who uplift you. People who make you happy, right? Um, people who um, who can help you, who, who, who give a lend hand. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you. Um, yeah, it's best to be around people that make you happy during that time. You know, all I had was, I didn't have nobody but the bed <laughs> and the Bible, and I had a cross. And I, I fall asleep reading the Bible. I, I, I got close to God more than anything I got. That's what I needed to do. It wasn't about no twin flame or no so It wasn't even about that. It's about getting close to God for me. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all, that's what God is trying to do. He's trying to get y'all to see that he real. And he used people like me through him because I am God. I am love. You see what I'm saying? And he worked through me. And, and I come give y'all these messages. And that's what he's doing now. He's working through me to translate these messages to y'all. So, yeah. Like I said, a lot of y'all was left out in the cold. I woke up to my gifts even more when I, God blessed me with them gifts. God said, okay, if you leave this person alone like I told you to do, I'm going to bless you. And God been blessing me ever since. People can say what they want to say about them cars, but ever since I've been doing it, you know, this is my justice. This is how I got my justice, you feel me, when I picked them cars up. Because I put them cars down for months, months. But they kept calling me, and, and I was going to throw them away. But they kept calling me and calling me, like, pick them cars up. It's something you got to be doing with these cars. And that's what I did. And y'all got purposes here on Earth. Y'all Earth angels, y'all, what, rainbow kid, y'all rainbow star seeds, um, you know, indigos, whatever it is. But y'all are here for a reason. Everybody, you're here for a reason, now. Listen to what I'm telling you. You're here for a reason. And most of y'all parents and shit, they sold, they sold. Look, they made a deal with the devil. So they knew what was going on with you. That's why they left you out in the cold. They didn't want you to wake up. They didn't want you to wake up to the truth. Or they like they didn't want me to pick them cars up because they know the cars were going to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's like all that they tried to do, I'm here blasphemy. Whatever that mean. Damn, I'm on phone I'm here blasphemy, y'all. What that mean? Comment below. I hear blasphemy. Mm. Yeah. Even your community here. It's like everybody know, you know, it, it's like your community is, is the people who gang stalking you, the people in your community, the people close to you, even the people you went to school with is a part of. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people who gang stalking me that went to school with me, guess what they did? They did. You can't play with chosen people. It's really real. If you think you're going to play with me, or you're going to play with the next chosen sister or brother, because they my sisters and my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Not by blood, but... By law, they're my sisters and my brothers that y'all fucking with. And y'all fucking with us and y'all fucking with me. And I'm telling you, ain't nothing good gonna come of that. You can't mess with God's prophets. That's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing this little pyramid scheme, whatever y'all call yourself doing. Um, and then a lot of y'all adopted. And your parents, they, they might be done passed away. And they left you money, inheritance money. And whoever you with now, they trying to keep it from you. They don't want you to wake up to the truth. But you waking up. 
Every, it's like everybody all around the world starting to wake up. And that's all I want. That's what I'm here for, to wake y'all up. Because I'm woke as fuck. I'm so woke that it ain't even funny. You hear me? Ain't nothing finna fly uh, uh, past me now. I ain't going. I am not going. I ain't going. Okay, so let's see. Um, I really don't want to do no read. Somebody need to work on that shadow side of here. Yeah, look at that. Look when I spit the deck, bully. Some of y'all being bullied. That's crazy. Deep fear of physical abuse. Verbal abuse or physical abuse. Mm. Some of y'all being bullied because y'all like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they try to bully me, but I am not fucking going, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a beast out here. I used to be ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never doubt that it even matters. But I used to be ready. I used to say turned up, y'all. I'm telling you. But it ain't it ain't I ain't nowhere near the same person I was. Like it's so crazy that, you know, I'm not the same person. I just wanna live my life in peace. Take care of my brother, take care of my family, take care of my grandma for sure. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. A lot of I, okay, so um, so some of y'all could be addicted to drugs or whatever you're addicted to. And then I be hearing a lot of people say, like, a lot of psychics and stuff, they usually, you know, um, be on, like, opioid, opioid, on some type of drug or something to, to cope with they, you know, with they hearing stuff. I don't know because I, I feel like I'm better without it, you know. I'm better without all it. Um, but y'all got addictions and stuff, and they use that against you. You know what I'm saying? They want to keep you high or on drugs or, you know, something like that. They use all that against you. Right, they they saying you crazy because you waking up and you know things and shit like that. Yeah. Let me see. I don't, I don't want these cards. Do I want these cards? I don't. Hold on, y'all. This ain't gonna be long at all. I'm not gonna make this read long. Because I just want to pull the free and see what comes out. But yeah, somebody's really, somebody's going through the dark night and so and your family left you out in the cold. And when that preacher came out, I already knew who that was for me. You know, I don't know who it is for y'all. It could be like a church coven that's following you. You know what I'm saying? A church. Because we got a preacher. But for me, I know who the preacher is. You know what I'm saying? So, and it, it goes to say, left out in the cold preacher. I was left out in the cold by a preacher. So they made a deal with the devil and they thought they were going to sacrifice me. Right. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Abundance is your right. Abundance is your birthright. Like a lot of y'all don't know y'all stars. We are the real stars. We the stars. Mm. It's your birthright. And so it shall be. Focus on the positivity. Okay, it's like, no matter what you went through, like, no matter what I went through, I made the best out of it. I turned my pain into power. You feel me? I turned my pain into power. I got on her. I put got my word out. I didn't care how long it took. But I did it. Spirit told me to do it. I ain't know what I was doing, y'all, when I was getting on her reading them cards. My first video ever on her, I dropped my phone. And I've always said everything that happens in the reading happened for a reason. I didn't edit it or nothing. I put it on her. People laughed at me. I kept going. I messed my cards up. They'll come and say, you missed it. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know. Guess what? Spirit told me to do it. So, obviously, I don't. Even if I didn't know what I was doing at the time, Spirit knew who I was going to become. You know, God knew who I was going to, what I was going to do. So, he told me, keep going. I don't care because they talk about you. I don't care. They talked about me. Make another video. And that's what I did. I made another video. Okay? And look at me now. Oh. Look at me now. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting paper. Look at me now, cause abundance is my right. Abundance, abundance is my birthright. Birthright. Know your truth. Stand in your truth. Okay. Never judge another. Just like they judge me, or just like they judge you. Oh, you a witch. You don't supposed to be doing no cause. Da -da -da, this and that. I wish in the bad, but it's in the bad. But if it was so bad, why do I keep getting blessed? Why do God keep blessing me? Right. Why am I getting blessed doing what I'm doing? When y'all growing up as a little child, I always wanted to do cards. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to read cards. And look at me now. That's what I'm doing. I never thought in a million years I'd be sitting here doing this. I never thought it. I never thought it. I never thought it. But never judge another. Never judge another person. Just like they judge me. Just like how they laughed at me and made fun of me or watching me on camera and making fun of me. Um, 
it is what it is. But guess what? <laughs> you know how them tables turn. Oh, baby, they done done the 360 and ain't nobody laughing now. 14, 4, 4 on the clock as I was saying it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I did? My thoughts created my own reality. My thoughts, your thoughts, my thoughts. You know how I tell y'all, you are what you eat, you are what you think. Watch how you think. Watch your thoughts. That's, this is my reality. I created it. What else, spirit? Just one more. Okay, y'all, I'm finna end this read. Express your feelings. And that's exactly what I'm doing, right? I'm expressing my feelings to y'all. Express your feelings. It's okay to um express your feelings. It's okay. It's it's quite all right. They don't make you make you look like you know any less of a person. It's, sometimes it's hard for people to express their feelings and how they really feel. It used to be for me, but not no more, baby. Not no more. Um, well, all the way up. Okay, let's get another one. What your spirit? Look, I can't look. Learn from your mistakes. Okay. Learn from your mistakes. I promise you, I, I promise you, I learn from mine. I don't make them same mistakes. I just can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I like it here. I love it here. And I can't give up because I want to see what's on the other side. I done made it too far to give up now. You know that song? I just can't give up now. Like I done made it look. And that's what I'm doing. I'm being of service. I'm being of service to people. I'm being of service to humanity. Okay? Uh, everyone has value. You have value. I have value. We have value as a whole. You are valuable here. Okay? God got you here for a reason, right? You're supposed to be spreading love, right? Hmm. And I know it's hard sometimes. I know it's hard. Because my temper was bad, y'all. I be ready to tee off. I promise you I know. You can't tell me I know. I have been there. I done it. I used to fight. I'm telling you, I used to be at there. Not like that, though. I was never really after like that. But, like, if, you know, I'm a Pisces, and Pisces don't bother people. So when you bother Pisces, you get dealt with real quick. And this is how I was with that. You know, I didn't bother nobody. I was in my own little world, do my own little thing. I always have. I always will. Okay? Like a trash like. Yeah. Like a trash like. This this, this right. This right. Like some trash likes. So it's like, um, say, like, um, people misjudge me, right? They was they look. You never judge. You never judge. You never judge another, cause you never know them tables gonna turn. And it's like people judge me, but guess what? Like a trash like people saw that. Wait a minute, it's something not right. Y'all said what about her? She what? It just don't add up. It don't add up what y'all saying about her. She's an evil witch. She a what? You better call me the good witch Linda then. Tell me some. Mm -mm. Yeah. So now y'all see, and now y'all getting the feeling of me. Now y'all liking me because y'all see like attract like. You know, I'm nothing like how they made me out to be. And it's you too. It's, I'm, I'm speaking about me making me an example, but I'm talking about you. Okay? They judge you. They judge you wrong. They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it. Now they got to pay for it. Because <laughs> look, now they figuring out, oh, that person got value. Yeah. God kept, God kept this person because... I'm telling you, God put God God shielded this person. But this person got value. I know. You didn't know, but God knew exactly who you was. God knew. God already knew. Shit, this was already look. Before you were born, this was already going in the, in the making. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm finna end this reading. I hope it helped. And, you know, I hope it get y'all, you know, resonated with y'all. Anything y'all wanna know, just you know. Because I, I've been through a lot of stuff growing up. I've never had an easy life. Never, never. I wish I could. I wish I could take a trip and relax. Just at least give me two days to relax. And then I'll be back at it again. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. I just, you know, it would be so lovely. If I can just go get a massage for the whole day. Like, those are the type of things I want to do. What? Alright, I'm finished. I'm finished to you. No. Oh, hold on. Here's something. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know what I was saying, but you don't, you don't, I don't know. But yeah, if y'all need me, y'all know where I'm at. I love y'all. Y'all make good choices because I just want to see everybody make it. I want to see everybody happy. 
I want to see everybody thrive. I want to see everybody with their own goal. I want everybody to do their own thing. I want everybody to be their own leader. I ain't talking about working for nobody because this somebody else's dream you're working towards. I want you to work towards your own dream. Do your own thing. It took me so long to get to where I'm at here, but guess what I'm here? It took a year and some more. But, like, some of y'all, <laughs> y'all got it made because when I was trying, when I was up and coming shit, trying to do something, they were blocking me left and right. But some of y'all, y'all get that little leeway. I just want to see everybody do good. It makes me feel good on the inside when I can help or when I can see y'all trying to help yourself. I can't help nobody who not trying to help themselves. Y'all be in my Gmail. Can you can you share this? Can you share that? I don't mind. But if I see you not trying to help yourself, I can't. But, I mean, I just, I feel like you, you need to do it like me. Do it like how I did it. You know what I'm saying? Show me something so I'll be able to show other people something. I'm not going to show your shit or do this. I'm not going to do that. Because if you can't show me now, you can't just get on there and say, Hey, spiritual advice, can you share this? No, show me something. Show me what you got. You know what I'm saying? i see if it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? If you feel what I'm saying, I ain't trying to say that you ain't good enough. But I'm just saying, show me what you got. And then I'll I make that necessary step. But you got to be willing to help yourself. I can't help nobody who's not willing to help themselves in this point blank period. I just can't. You know what I'm saying? I, I mess with everybody. And I, I want to see everybody make it. But you got to get out there like I did. You got to do it on your own. I, I'm showing tough love. You got to do it like I did. I'm not. It's not no easy way. Ain't no easy way in. Because it surely hell ain't going to be no easy way out. You feel me? I love y'all, man. I really do love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I ain't been on her all day. And I've been missing y'all like a mug, you know. Y'all make a difference in my life. I just want y'all to know that. Y'all really do. Um, whether you know it or not, just how y'all need me. Just as much as y'all need me, I need y'all. And I want y'all to know that. And, I, you know, whatever. Even if I don't get on her a day, just know I'm thinking about y'all. I'm thinking about my collector, you know. So, you know, I don't just be getting on her just doing this. You know, I really do I really do care about y'all. And I want to see y'all make it. I do. So, yeah, thank y'all for being here. And if y'all would like to donate to my channel, um, it's a uh, money sign, cash me, Alicia, whatever it is. Y'all don't give a damn if it was a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. You know? I just want y'all to know that. Okay, so, um, yeah. See y'all later. Bye.